Hi everyone! In this video we will solve higher order equations with factoring by grouping. Solve x to the third plus 7x squared minus 36x minus 252 equals zero. Now this did tell us that we need to factor by grouping but we know whenever we have more than three terms or a larger than a trinomial polynomial so in this case we have four terms the only way we can factor it is by grouping. And to group this, we group the first two and the second two. And we always include the sign of that middle one in the grouping of the second two, because that helps us to know if I'm going to be factoring a positive or a negative. On the first two, we look for the greatest common factor, and it's x squared. So we factor out the x squared, and that just means that we are dividing both terms by x squared. That's what it means by factoring it out. The first term, x cubed, divided by x squared just leaves us with 1x left over. And 7x squared divided by x squared, both x squareds cancel, and so we're just left with positive 7. In the second two, we have minus 36x minus 252. And the greatest common factor is 36. But I have a negative here, so our greatest common factor needs to include that negative. So we will factor out negative 36. And again, we're just dividing both of these terms by negative 36. The first one, they cancel out, so we're just left with x. And the second two, a negative divided by a negative is positive, and 252 divided by 36 is 7. And this still equals 0. Now we have two much larger terms, this one and this one. Again, we're looking for the greatest common factor, but it's already written out for us, and we can see it right here that it's the binomial x plus 7. This means that we are dividing this term by x plus 7 and this whole term by x plus 7, this binomial, and that shows that x plus 7 divided by x plus 7 cancels, and so we're just left with x squared and minus 36. And so our next uh, binomial or uh, parentheses is going to contain x squared minus 36, and this still equals zero. Because we have two things being multiplied together and it equals zero, we can use the zero product property that says one or both of them being multiplied together and equals and equaling zero means that one or both must also equal zero. So we split it into two equations, x plus seven equals zero, and x squared minus 36 equals zero. On the left side, we'll subtract 7 from both sides. Positive 7 minus 7 cancels, and so we've isolated our variable to get x equals negative 7. On the right side, we need to add 36 to both sides to isolate the variable, and we're left with x squared equals positive 36. Now we still need to negate that squared so that we have just the variable x. To undo the square, we square root, and so that cancels, and we're left with just x. But what we do to the left side, we must also do to the right side. So I need to also square root the 36. And whenever we square root a number, we get a positive or a negative of that answer. The square root of 36 is 6, so we get positive and negative 6 for the answers. Now, if we want to list these from low to high, we'll write x equals negative 7, comma, negative 6, comma, positive 6, and now we have all of our answers for this higher order equation, uh, and now we're all done.